Welcome to the garden. Today we'll be looking at the Nessus Sphinx, or Amphion floridensis, a day-flying moth, and why I consider it to be the lost hummingbird moth. It can be found in April to July throughout North America, as far south as Mexico and as far north as Canada. They can range in size from about the size of a bee with a wingspan of only four centimeters up to the size of a hummingbird with a wingspan of six or more centimeters. Their most distinctive feature is a pair of yellow stripes across their back on the abdomen. Their body and wings are a dark brown with darker brown stripes and orange spots at the tips of the wing. There's a thin yellow stripe across the bottom edge of the wing and the underside of the wings are a rusty orange color. They have a small fan-like tail and a pointy head with a mouth like a butterfly that acts as a long curly straw for drinking nectar. They fly from flower to flower just like a hummingbird, flapping their wings so fast it looks like a blur. They prefer flowers with a deep well of nectar like bee balm. I've also seen them on blackberry flowers chives, iris, and hostas. I found these really difficult to identify because the Nessus Sphinx is not technically a hummingbird moth. There are 23 known species of hummingbird moth throughout the world, and all of them are in the genus Hemeris, while our Nessus Sphinx is in its own genus, Amphion. It was first described in 1777 as Sphinx Nessus, but that name was already taken, so it was renamed Nessus Sphinx in 1920. Nessus Sphinx is the common name, and the scientific name is Amphion floridensis. It was placed in genus Amphion in 1819, to which it is the sole member. These moths lay eggs just like all the other moths or butterflies. And their caterpillars are black with a little spike on its tail. And they have a very unique defense where they'll hiss or spittle like a kettle. It kind of sounds like this. <laughs> but I've actually never seen the caterpillars. They may reproduce further south. They're a fairly common day-flying moth, but that doesn't mean they're easy to spot. I've only seen a handful my entire life. So I hope this video has helped you identify the Nessus Sphinx or Amphion floridensis. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.